Okay, Don. So um, one of the things that I've heard about the seats is that they're portable. You can take them with you if you're going to go on vacation or you're worried or, you know, bathing is the way to do it. So I'd love to be able to see how you're going to take it apart, how easy it is to move around. Yeah, absolutely. So number one thing is you cannot take it apart unless it is in the lowest position. And that has to do with That's that good to know. feature. Yeah, yeah, so the reclining feature, um, the connections in the seat need to actually be kind of like all the way up and all the way down. That's the safety stuff. So if you notice, I cannot take this off right now. Um, I will also say too, for cleaning purposes, these literally oh, just wow. like pop right off. It's a tiny, tiny little connection there that goes yeah. right into the hole. And so yeah. you can take those on and off really easily if you want to. So let's pretend we're gonna take it off to clean. They do say to avoid um, heavy Clorox and chlorine based things. So you want to do like light, mild soap, but you can take off these. Okay. You could wipe down your seat. You want to fold in the flaps here. And then I'm going to lower it all the way down to its lowest position. So Again, I guess I would, I would probably realize, right, if I'm trying to wrench off like the back seat, it won't, it just won't come off, right? And then I'll right. think, and oh, it, I'm lower it. Yeah, it's the same thing as like almost anything you put together. If it's hard to put together, you're not doing it right. So if it's hard to take <laughs> apart, you're not yeah. in the right position. So right. It, it's actually really, really easy. So we go all the way down to the lowest position. You'll know that because I don't know if you can hear the motor, but there is a little bit of a motor. Oops. Okay. Yeah, I can hear it. Then, come on, buddy. Okay, so then we go all the way back. Oh. Sorry, I thought I got stuck for a second. That was me. And then- so you have to go all the way down, all the way back. Okay. All the way down, all the way back in order to have the feature of manually moving this. Got it. And then literally you just take- I'm going to take this off so I have one less thing to worry about, but you can keep it on if you want. Oh, okay. So and you just popped it see, forward. Yeah, it's just this little bar okay. and on the actual bath lift, and I'm only one person, so I, it's hard to do it. There's just a little hook yeah. and this fits into the hook. Got it. So all you're doing is just removing it from the hook. So when I want to put it back in, it's the same thing. It's find the right angle. There's my chair lift. Wow, very cool. So on the way out, it's a little bit of a lift up. And here you go. And I think each piece is like maybe 10 pounds. Okay. But you can see that when I was talking about how you don't want it to touch the back of the tub, oh, this yeah. is the back of it. This yeah. has a few mechanicals in it, I believe. But from what I understand, it is fully waterproof. So it's like protected. But there is a little bit of fatness on the back of this chair. So that's one piece. And then for the bottom, you just kind of have to release the suction cups the same way you normally would. In the back, there is a little bit of a, the back suction cups have this tiny little piece. I don't know oh, if you can yeah, see it in the video. Great, yeah. So you can kind of pull that up if you want. Great. Or for me, you know, here. Mm -hmm. So you can get a little air and then you can just take the top, the front off. And then here's your bottom piece. Very cool. Does it come with a case? Like some way to, for us to bring it um, I believe that you might be able to purchase one, but it does not come with one when you first mm. purchase it. But uh. I'm sure that they have an accessory, I'm sure. <laughs> and then after that, you can just kind of carry it one hand here. Okay. And the other hand can go on the back of the chairlift, and then there you go. Yeah. You know, you know, I would probably end up forgetting that remote. <laughs> Because I'd have Absolutely. one hand in one hand, one on the other, and I would forget the other one. So I think for me, I would need to put all of those components into something central that yeah. would double proof it. Yeah. And you know what? I've actually never looked into the case because most of the people I've given it to, they're not going to be using it anywhere else. They kind of are homebound. Um, so I haven't had to think about that. But yeah, it's a good question. I'm pretty sure there's probably an accessory. Yeah. But, you know, I was just thinking like even beyond just like I wanted to take a tub. I mean, I think that that if that was your way of being able to get in and out of a shower, like you knew that you couldn't step over or whatever, that could be a great way just to get a shower, just to get a bath at somebody else's house that only has a bath, no walk in. And then it's really? a seat. that thing is that thing folds up smaller than a traditional, 
you know, shower seat. So I definitely think that that's is, an option. That would and be a if you see watch. here, if you see here, this is how low it gets into the tub. So this two, three inches, that's the yeah. only amount of clearance you're losing from the bottom of the tub where you are. So, I mean, that's really low that it goes. Yeah. Because yeah. the only other thing that would go here is the top, but it's not, this is the seat. This is how yeah. deep this is. So yeah, yeah. It's not bad. It's like 18 inches, I think, at its widest. I love it. So Don, when I'm looking at that, it looks like a great option to be able to possibly lift somebody up off the floor. Maybe I'm just thinking in my head, how I recently had somebody, a family member text me at, um, some device. It was $2,200. And she asked me, what do you think about this idea of picking him up off the floor? If he's down there in the middle of the night. And I said, you know, that's a lot of money for a, and a big giant, thing that you're going to have to move out there. And if he falls in the middle of the night, you're going to want him assessed. You're going to want somebody to come check him out, make sure he doesn't need to go to the hospital, you know, make sure yeah. he's oriented. So I just don't see the, I don't see the value in owning your own device to be able to get them off the floor, especially at that price range that, you know, really it'll just be a coat rack. <laughs> but when I'm looking right. at that, I'm thinking, Ooh, there's possibility in that. I'd love to be oh, able yeah. to demo and I see. Think for somebody who, unfortunately, so let me put the disclaimer out, nobody should have frequent falls. If you do, call a therapist, okay? Like you should be talking to your doctor. You should be figuring out why the falls are happening. But if you are somebody who has stumbles or slides off of chairs or has, I actually do think that this could be a really, really great option. Um, or say you bent down onto the ground because you thought that you could get back up and it was very controlled descent. And you're like, I'm actually stuck. <laughs> Absolutely. I think that this could be a great option. Um, maybe we'll do a video about it. Yeah, let's try it because you know what? We're OTs and we think outside the box. Just because the instruction manual doesn't say it doesn't mean we don't do it, right? Exactly. And I, and I think, you know, a lot of times the biggest struggle is that first little bit, just like with putting on your pants, it's just that first little bit and then you're good. You can reach your hands and get it, but you need that first few inches. So I'd love to see if that thing could lift you up high enough to get your feet underneath you and get you up. All yeah, right, we'll, we'll have, have to check it, it out. Next video.